podcast live section let the viewers out there be blessed in the name of jesus thank you spirit of the living god thank you mighty god for answers prayer in jesus wonderful name we pray amen and amen and amen hallelujah I bring you greetings from this end uh west africa nigeria the lord bless you every one of you your heart desire will be granted speedily in the name of jesus I quickly i don't know i i just perceive in my spirit that this world is for someone someone life has just been transformed that issue of concern is turning into an open testimony in the name of jesus now hear this this is for someone out there i don't know who you are god is saying to you according to psalm 37 verse 25 that's an assurance he has given to us he said right from the days of old psalm 37 verse 25 here this is what god's word is saying this this is for someone out there god said i should tell you once i was young and now i am old yet i have never seen the godly abandon all their children begging for bread he has never seen the righteous forsaking or begging for bread god has never and can never abandon his own children it is scriptural it's in the bible this is god's word confirming his word again remember god's word is forever valid he is reconfirming his word with psalm 37 verse 25 he said once i was young and now i am old yet i have never seen the godly abandon all their children begging for bread ah no matter what the economic situation is throwing at you no matter what it's looking as if the economic made down global crisis god is telling you now in the days of famine you and i shall be satisfied if you read verse 1 in this same scripture, Psalm 37, verse 1, it said, Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. This is God's word reassuring you and I. It said, Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do you wrong. Verse 3, it said, Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. This is my God reassuring you again, the King of glory, the I am that I am. Psalm 37 verse 3. This word is for someone out there. I don't know who you are. It said, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. If you look at verse 4 in that same scripture, it says, Take the light in the Lord, and he will give you your heart desire. Take the light in serving God. Do it with joy and gladness. Don't be under tension. Don't be under pressure. It says, Take the light. Verse 4 now. It says, Take the light in the Lord, and he will give you your heart desires remember god's word cannot and can never be edited once it is scriptural then it is forever valid and psalm 37 it come again in verse 5 psalm 37 verse 5 this scripture is a powerful scripture if only you can open your heart and ears of understanding to understand what the scripture is saying Remember, God's word cannot can never be edited. Verse 5 says, Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him and He will help you. Don't use your power. Don't try to apply your common sense or your knowledge or trying to do it in your own understanding. He said, just give me that thing. Just commit it into my hands. Commit it and watch me take over that battle. That thing that makes you share secret tears. He said, commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you in that career, whatever it is, in that academic, in that business, 
any area that business whatever area you are struggling you are struggling trying to find help jesus is telling you he said commit everything you do to me and trust in me and he said he will help you I'm not the owner of this scripture is God that confirms his word in Psalm 37 verse 5. Now in 6 again, it says he will make your innocence radiate like the dawn. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday. That is like the way sun is as bright shining. That is how your justice will be so bright even the world will know that of the true you serve a living god psalm 37 now verse 7 says be still in the presence of the lord and wait patiently for him to act don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes glory to jesus Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My father, my father, I thank you. It is stop being angry. Angry about what? About what? Are you the creator of the universe? Are you the one that created yourself? Stop being angry. This is God reassuring you. He says, stop being angry. Turn from your range. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Wherever you are, I don't know who you are, just confirm it with that. Amen. Amen is a sign of agreement. But those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Wherever you are, in that country, in that station, you will possess the land in the name of Jesus. That land will favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything you lay your hand to do in that land shall prosper. Yara klanko to bere keturia katale kutos ketana mani kuria katanda shaga. Verse 9 For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. The stain. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. That will be your story in the name of Jesus. Now, verse 11. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot, plot against the godly. They snare at them in defense. But the Lord just laughs. <laughs> he that sits in the heavenly places laughs. He laughs at the wicked. He laughs at them and says, Oh, look at this ignorant people. He said, The Lord, he who sits. But the Lord just laughs for he sees their day of judgment coming. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> See, look at them. See them. Plotting you, all I see is your days of judgment coming upon them. I don't know who you are, as long as your heart is connected to this life section, wherever you are, your story has just been changed. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, my father, my father. Hear this and hear what God say. The wicked draw their sword and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. Now again, look at that, it will backfire on them, verse 15. It said, but their sword will stab their own heart and their bowels will be broken. Glory to God. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. The Lord takes care of the righteous ones. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are gorgeous givers. Hallelujah. Woo! Somebody who's a giver in the house, shout hallelujah. But the godly are gorgeous, are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses we possess the land but those he causes we die the lord directs the steps of the godly he directs 
a delight in every detail of their life. Hallelujah. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Ah! You will never be abandoned in the name of Jesus. All through the remaining days of this month, you will locate relevant and regular helpers. In fact, your helper has come in the name of Jesus. The godly, the righteous, will possess the land and will live there forever. The righteous offer good counsel, they teach right from wrong, they have made God's law their own so they will never sleep from his heart. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly looking for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed with your own very eye. You just put your hope in the Lord and not in the hope of man. I tell people, the more you put hope in man, the, man, the more man disappoint you. Put your hope in God and he will never disappoint you. He never fail, he never change. Man can promise you and fail you, but God cannot fail you. This is what God's word is telling you and now. If you stand on this wall, you can never stumble. If you stand on this wall, you can never be put to shame. If you stand and believe and have faith in this world, you can never fail in life. But when I look again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good. For a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescued the godly. He is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them, rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them and finds shelter in him. I shut down with this verse 25 again. Once I was young and now I'm old, I yet I have never seen the godly abandon their own. Once I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the godly abandon or their children begging for bread. Your story. May your life be changed forever in the name of Jesus. Henceforth, help us will be locating you. Help us from north, east, west, south. Help us from left, right, center. Help us around the world will be locating you and connecting with you in the name of Jesus. Your helper has come. Your help has come. Your helper has come in the name of Jesus.